Okay, so this one's for just people in general. Someone asked me a question about whether they should be drinking coffee or not, or how often they should be doing it, and whether they should be like cycling on and off, or whatever. All these kind of details, but here was my response to it, right? Here are the facts. Caffeine is a drug. With drugs come amazing highs today at the cost of incredible lows tomorrow. Drugs come with addictions, tolerances, and withdrawal symptoms. That doesn't seem so wise to me. Just because something is popular doesn't mean it's great. Plenty of people smoke too, and some even argue it helps them focus. The way I see it, it's a cope for people who don't get enough good sleep and don't eat a decent diet. Because if you did, you wouldn't need it. Right? That is something I fundamentally believe as someone who has never relied on coffee or caffeine in my life to get things done. Right? There are so many other ways of perking up your energy naturally. Right? One of those ways is sleep. As I mentioned in this uh, little thing here, my little spiel, sleep is one of those things. Okay? If you have good sleep, your energy levels should stay pretty constant throughout the day and you won't be tired or excessively tired. Right? You might have like a little bit of a wind up when you wake up and then your energy should stay pretty stable and then you'll wind down as you go back to sleep again. Right? And then there's diet, right? You ever heard of a sugar rush? and a crash that's when you eat loads of sugary foods and carbs as well so you get like real massive spikes and stabilities and goes up and down it just like it's if your diet is like this and your energy is like this then i might be able to understand why you feel the need to drink something else to perk you up right but then again you're just delaying it right the thing with coffee or caffeine in general is that you're only delaying the process of that crash coming right so because you feel a little bit low now you'll drink some coffee and you go sky high but then right afterwards you'll go even lower than you were before right so you maybe you'll be a bit more productive the context in which this question was asked by the way was in like a productivity setting right i feel like coffee can make me more productive so should i do it should i not my answer was no pretty much right look you'll have great energy for like you know half an hour an hour but then for a lot of the rest of the day, you'll, you'll be low and it will take time to get back to baseline as well, right? So you're borrowing tomorrow's energy. You're borrowing, you know, tonight's energy. Like it's, it's, you don't get energy for free. That doesn't exist, right? You're breaking the laws of physics there. If you think you can get free productivity, free energy for no reason, that doesn't exist, okay? It comes at the cost of something later. Okay, you will have a crash and it will affect you, right? So in my mind, there's no way to rationalize this, right? So people might rationalize it by saying, look, I do it every now and then, right? Well, if you do it every now and then, you'll still have that crash. It doesn't eliminate itself. And the tolerances will come in if you do it regularly as well. And you'll get withdrawal symptoms, right? I feel like one of the, the better responses I've had to this is the fact that someone does it like once once a month, right? And I'm like, okay, fine. If you're... <laughs> it seems to be a risky game here to play with your own body and it's, it's kind of chemistry of hormones and signals that it carries around itself and how it affects things as well. Caffeine is known to affect the heart and heart disease right and look if you know for sure for some reason that you do it once a month and then you know you are hyped up on caffeine one day and the next day you can just take a day off and that's okay for you for some reason then maybe it's okay but that kind of reasoning for me with substances in general can lead to bad places because then why not take amphetamines? Why not take cocaine? Why not take heroin? Right? See, when I say that, now you're thinking a little bit differently. But when I say coffee, you're like, oh, it's just coffee, right? It's just Red Bull, it's just Monster. But when I say crystal meth, you're thinking, oh, I wouldn't do that with crystal meth. Why not? It would make you more productive, right? And that's how I see these reasonings.
right? People tell me, oh, it, it will make me more productive. It's okay because I'm. it's for my business. It's for my studies. It's for this, for that. It's a drug. Realize that. It's in the same category. Crystal meth, cocaine, heroin, caffeine. They're in the same category. Right? So just consider that fact if you're going to get into this. Right? Just because it's normal doesn't mean it's great. Alcohol, cigarettes, they've been around for a long time and no one's saying that they're great for anybody. In fact, a lot of people are saying how bad they are for everybody. Right? So it's just perspective. It's just the, the story that we tell ourselves. The story that we told ourselves about caffeine and coffee is that, oh, it's okay. It's, it's what the... The good American drinks in the morning, a cup of joe, that's great, right? But if you look at it surface level as a thing by itself, then you'll see that it's not so, you know, it's not so good for you, right? It shouldn't be so normal, right? If we, like, restart a society from the beginning, we'd probably, you know, restrict the caffeine, and the alcohol and the cigarettes and everything else that's bad for people, we'd probably do that, right? So that's my opinion on, on caffeine. I know it's a bit extreme, but I don't think I've made any analogy in this video or any story in this video that doesn't make any sense, right? But at the end of this, I know that some people will still continue to drink coffee and maybe even decide later in life to drink coffee and I can't change everybody. But I hope that I've made you think, at least. Because the point of the videos that I make is not to force someone to change their lives because I said so. The purpose of these videos are to make someone think so that they can make their own choices in life. Which is why I always say at the end of every video, knowledge is power and the power is yours. That's why I say that. Right, I might I might have a lot to say about something, but then the power is yours. Right? It's not up to me. It's all you. So that's all I have to say about caffeine. And I feel a similar way about all drugs and all alcohol, to be honest with you. Alcohol is a drug as well. And so, yeah. Hope that helps. Hope that makes you think. Take care of yourselves. See you next time. Bye-bye. And knowledge is power, and the power is yours. Nice.